the satellite crash and killed the dinosaur. Hello there, Riddle here. So, Jack? Yeah. No, no, I'm not Jack. Congratulations are in order. For what? For your promotion. There's really no need for that. Come on now, it's a big deal. Congratulations, Captain Jack. Yeah, uh, Captain? Captain Reddle sounds better than Jack. If that's what you want, then call me Jack. Whatever you want. <laughs> Jeff Bezos, Richard Branson, Elon Musk are all doing it. But they have billions, while we just have cents. But don't despair, because we have VR. And the immersion it provides Why? is the closest thing we may ever get to try floating in space. Oh. I'm gonna explore Mimas Me. Let's see how far it is. I think it's too far. Planet Earth. Planet Earth is blue and there's nothing I can do. This is ground control to Major Tom. So cool. It's so quiet, it's so silent, it's just like space. Yeah. Suck that, Elon Musk. I did it. I went to space. I went Morning. to space. Now leaving mission area. Yeah, I'm leaving mission area. I'm gonna try. Oh no, no. What's happening? Reboot oh, initiated. Emergency shutdown sequence complete. Please stay inside the designated area of operations. I started with free games like Echo VR and Mission ISS to get that space fix in VR. And it was good back then. But Mission ISS is vomit inducing while Echo VR is physically intensive. I then grabbed Lone Echo recently, which has the same developer and within the same universe as Echo VR because it was on sale and I'm cheap. And I was surprised to miss knowing how great this game is. Think of the Expanse universe. I'm actually seeing it as one of the must-haves when you play PC VR and in line with Half-Life Alex on its quality. Without spoiling anything, let me tell you why this is one of the best. But before that, please do not forget to subscribe. Immediately, you'll be greeted by floating objects in zero gravity with Liv, who is your human companion throughout the game, and the textures and the quality of the VR character and the objects are very impressive. I actually find Liv's face here a lot better and realistic than Half-Life Alex models, but obviously Lone Echo focused on just one human character versus Half-Life's multiple characters. You can tell that Ready at Dawn Studios did not take the shortcut and carefully sculpted the world of Lone Echo. Outside your ship, I can't help but marvel at the beauty of Saturn with the ring and its moons plus the stars and the ships in the background. Sad. There's a communication satellite over there. Graphics is no doubt one of its best. Look at that. I'm gonna do McDonald's. There we go. How was that? The shadow's so cool. Because the sun is there. Speaking of best. They definitely nailed down the space physics. This is the best simulator for anything space, setting the bar for other studios to follow. If you don't have a PC to run Lone Echo, you can try the free multiplayer game Echo VR to feel how they applied space movement physics. The way objects move in zero gravity, including yourself, all makes sense. I just have one gripe though about how your hands can touch the face of Liv and it just goes through it. They should have applied the Walking Dead, Saints and Sinners physics there. You can play standing up, but be careful if you have a low ceiling. Or sitting down, where having a swivel chair helps a lot. 
Gameplay is a bit of suspense, escape puzzle game, but the puzzle part is really not that hard. If you are into puzzle escape games in VR, then you may want to check my other video here. The puzzles are easy if you came from the room or red matter game. And most of the time, you'll find yourself searching for a missing piece or finding a location. Power current stabilized. Game environment is like you're in the universe of The Expanse, which is one of the best space sci-fi shows nowadays. Game story feels like you are investigating a mysterious ship covered with a deadly proto-molecule biomass, and I can't help but wonder what would happen next? The strong character development and great story kept me from removing my headset and play until my headset battery dies. The only negative thing I can say about this game is it is a bit short for me. You'll be able to complete it in about 10 hours. However, you can always replay the game and play on the things you missed on your first playthrough as you are gunning towards completing tasks instead of playing with the things you have on your ship, which you thought will last for a while. I had fun playing with this remote control, small scale, fury ship toy. Let's have a flyby. Mm, see, isn't this cool? Mm. Once you're outside, Try to marvel and do some star or planet gazing. It is really beautiful. To me, Lone Echo is the best space zero gravity physics implemented in a game so far. Add the VR immersion and you get the closest thing to reality. Lone Echo is currently on sale at $9.99 and this is already 75% off. So this is the best time to add it in your VR library. They will be releasing part two later this year and I'm excited where the story will go. All right, and that's what we have now. Please press the like button if you like this episode and subscribe if you want more. See you on the next. Goodbye.